I'm going to be showcasing the top five mistakes that every single Tales of Tenario player does on a daily basis and fails to understand. We're going to be going from the mistakes that people do in battles to the mistakes that people do in ruptures and all the way up to mistakes that people do with selecting moves and grinding certain things. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video and I'll show you all the first mistake. All right, so you are coming up onto the second stadium in Everlush Town and you check your team and you realize oh wow my moves have not changed at all ever since the start of the game now yes this is a very common issue even this happened to me i did not realize that there was this feature where you had to manually change your moves into the newer moves that you learned so what would happen is you would level up your tenorian as much as you possibly could and then you come up to a stadium and you realize you have had the same moves for the whole game and you're wondering where are all of your new moves well you need to actually go over here to the menu tab click tenorians go to summary on the tenorian that you want to have new moves on and then battle then you will see those recycle type emoji looking things on the moves now these stand for switching the moves so all you have to do is click and there you go all of your moves that you have learned are in this nifty little box that was never revealed to you by the game you're welcome all right so here is an amazing trick that many people can do to grind raids effectively and a lot of people don't actually do this so in order to get an event raid or any three star raid that you guys would like to get all you would have to do is just go over here in your tenorians and get yourself a lovely little valley sec this also works with the climate and evolution the wind type evolution and both of these tenorians actually learn this move explosion at around level 38 and now what you have to do is make sure that that explosion lumion is in your party uh, at the first spot just like i have right now i will be using this explosion lumion to get myself a three star raid in the game so what i'm gonna do here is i would go inside the raid just like so i would join the rupture ready up and here is where the magic happens so pay attention to my chat right here all right so we have one star in kaigen cliffs now as we do this raid it is is gonna spawn another raid so over here all you would have to do is click explosion and boom there you go and what's gonna happen here is you're gonna die but it's gonna also end the raid for you and then that way you can cycle through a bunch of raids really quickly and grind a lot of fun items really quick so i'll show you a, a quick time lapse on how to do this and you will see a three star rubber in just a few minutes Holy shit, dude! All right, guys, so that barely took any time. I did almost six raids in two minutes, which is insane compared to how long it would take if you fully finished each raid one by one. And there we go. And now I can do this one properly. So in this case, if I do join the rusher, I can just click the Norian. And there we go. I can pick anything that I want to use for this three star and hopefully get the items that I want to get from this rusher. But in this case, you would also be able to do this for event raids if you have any. So just keep that in mind all right this is great because this ties into the second mistake that people do which is once they do get the rupture they want to do they join a rupture and then they pick a tenorian but they don't have any stat buffing move in this case cash and burn is a really strong move but there we go you see this damage right here now i bet you if i did do a stat buffing move not only would i do more damage but i would also take less attack damage from the raid tenorian now in this case my support move that was in and place of toxic tooth actually lowered the ruptures like attack so if i had that i would have been able to lower the amount of damage that this uh, raid tenorian does and this could be great for things when you're doing this with your friends or potentially trying to finish raids really easily without having to suffer wait up phoenix what's up what's going on i can hear lucky hd crying in the background really i don't don't you think that this is unfair lucky hd has raised the same point against 
the devs, yet he is a developer of Tales of Tenario. Ooh, yeah, that is true. These viewers deserve compensation for this deceiving attitude. Are you sure? Listen, you. I have an idea. Yeah, what is it? They should join our Discord server and receive what they deserve from the weekly giveaways. Join now. Or you actively kneel before Lucky HD's ear-destroying wrath. Yeah, you heard him. Alright, once you encounter something, I have a chain of three on my citron, and if I kill this dupey right here, because my chain of citron is at three right now, it will get rid of my chain, and it will replace it with this dupey. So what that means is, you would need to go, and you would need to uh, in order to be able to kill things in the wild, you would have to basically kill something after your chain is at 50 or higher. This is because if your chain is lower, it will break it. As you can see here my chain has now been replaced with a dupey bara because i just killed the dupey bara now if i go over here there's a no tent over here if i encounter it look what's gonna happen i just had the chain of dupey bara right now if i get this no tent right here it will immediately replace it so this will happen for any chain that is under a chain of 50 no matter what now if your chain is over 50 you'll get to keep it but other than that you'll lose it you're losing your chain now one one more thing that you would have an encounter over here is the fact that if you catch something no matter what your chain is at it will break it so even if your chain is at 700 or 800 or maybe even 600 if you catch something it will break so do not catch something that you're not chaining for unless it's rare enough for you to take it okay so avoid doing that mistake and keep hunting all right so the very final mistake which is done by a lot of players is the fact that they don't use incenses when they hunt first of all when you're chaining a Tenorian, make sure that you have a Tenorian with a move that can hit a bunch of different enemies at once. For example, a Lurgen Blast. If you use this move, it will be able to hit multiple Tenorians. So in this case, if you're chaining Citroen, just like I am, you are able to find male Citroen in swarms in the wild. And killing them one by one can take a while, so having just a move that can hit all of them at once is going to be amazing. Now, this brings me to this point. I currently don't have any in sense active if we look over here uh, there's this lemon right here which is called citron obviously and that is one that has spawned so far meaning that if i wanted to get a female citron outside of the lemon trees i would have to either reset the spawns over here as you can see here and some actually don't even stay in the grass so that's also annoying but i'd have to reset all of the spawns over here just look at this like ever since this the incense update came out right the tenorians have been spawning so slowly and i get why it's apparently to do with consistency but i really just don't enjoy it and so over there we just saw two citrons uh spawned one was male and one was female but over here absolutely nothing so yeah let's see how many citrons i can get in the span of a minute using normal encounters and then let's use an incense and see how much better it would be with an incense Alright, so in about a minute, I managed to get myself four citrons to spawn. Now, four citrons is the amount of spawns that I managed to get in one minute without using an incense. So let's go ahead and turn on an incense now. So I'm going to use incense A, 15 minutes, and let's see how many I get in one minute and go. Alright, I'll be back with once one minute is over. Alright, so there we are. I have now killed four citrons. So let's see how many more citrons I got to spawn. So the idea of this is I would get four citrons and I would see how many more citrons spawn with the incense. In total, I managed to get three extra citrons to spawn using the incense. I mean, clearly you get more Tenorians, not as much as you used to. I'm pretty sure you used to get like about four or five more compared to three. But hey, at the end 
end of the day, this is how incenses work now. So we are just going to have to stick with it. But they do still, in fact, give you more Denorians than usual. So do keep that in mind. And if you are chaining, use some of the tips that I gave you to help you uh, chain the Tenorian that you want and get a shiny version of it as soon as possible. All right, guys, but that is it. We have shown you the top five mistakes that most Tales of Denario players do. If you guys would like to share your own mistakes that you want to be featured in future videos, please do go ahead and comment down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and share some of your thoughts on what this video uh, offered to you. If this video wasn't so helpful, please do share it with me so I can focus on making better videos for you guys. And if, if you found this video helpful, just drop a comment saying that you enjoyed the video and that would do wonders. But other than that, guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next Tales of Denario video. Bye!